this intro used to have a lot more guys in it, and now it's loaded with women. And that's fine, but it feels like a sort of, we have females leading the cast on this movie, so we should have them in the intro too, right? Maybe the audience will think they've always been there. And of course, we know they haven't, and this just made it look like you're trying too hard to be inclusive, Marvel. Wait, when did I get into a Star War? Does that hammer thing have an infinity stone in it? And if it doesn't, why did you make it look so much like it did? This scratching at the ground like a cat burying its shit in litter is both disturbingly too much and also not nearly enough of an effort to find a magical bangle. Look how much electricity she's using. String lights, neon, lava lamp, and it's daytime! Shine on, baby. Stealing your superhero phrase from a pop socket. When did she change into her superhero costume? We just saw her in street clothes at the top of the scene. God damn it! Movie spends way too long on a flashback recap of the original Captain Marvel movie. Like, even if I forgot that movie entirely, which I did, I would still feel like this was too much backstory. Isn't it odd that Carol's memory lingers on Monica's face? Carol's memory should be of flying through the sky, not Monica's adorable smile as her hero abandons her. You chose to wear the Remember My Worst Memories headband? This is a torture device. Call a therapist and put the brain zapper away for fuck's sake. Displaying your faux pussy for all to see. Incoming call from Nick Fury. Oh. What is she doing? Is she just floating out in space with her cat, just not doing anything helpful for any solar system until called upon? Just what the f is that about? She missed almost the entirety of the Avengers saga because she had so much other fucking cosmic ass saving to do. So what is with the casual Captain Marvel meditation ship? Let it be known that Chaos Carol has a uselessly unplugged 3D printer hanging out in a windowsill and a bottle of A1 tucked behind her untidy kitchen. I don't know why these two things in particular bother me so much, but they do. How goes it out there? Talking this loud in a room full of other people. No one wants to hear your fucking phone call, Fury. Having a table that can be activated by a cat. Why are the Nick Fury helpers all dressed like helmetless stormtroopers? What do you know about the surge in the jump point system a few hours ago? A surge in the jump point system. That is the catalyst for the whole movie. It's no dumber than an infinity stone, but it's still dumb enough to sit. You're in the neighborhood, right? Okay, again, it's weird that she's got nothing to do and is just floating through space chilling, but why the f*** would Captain Marvel let Nick Fury keep tabs on her whereabouts? Also, why does she even need a spaceship? Monica? She's not that little kid you remember. Captain Marvel understands how time works, yeah? Her first movie was in the 90s, and this movie is present day, so yeah, Monica is not a little kid anymore. And why has Captain Marvel not visited Monica any time between the end of Endgame and now? Communications override. Captain Rambo, Space Wolf. I have a lot of questions. First, why does Fury need to specify that he is wanting to talk to Captain Rambo and that she is on a spacewalk? Second, why isn't there a button he can press to override things and speak to whoever the f he wants? Third, why does Nick f***ing Fury have to override anything on this space station? Ah, you got some Ang Lee's Hulk in my marbles. No shoulder socket is discombobulated in this scene. Kamala somehow shifts into someone else's spacesuit, even though all the other instances later in the movie have the marbles trading places in their own clothing. It's not that I want Kamala to be dead, but she should be dead. So I switched with someone named Kamala Khan? Switched will do a lot of heavy lifting for most of this movie. And no, there's not ever a satisfying explanation for the switching. Yes, they explain it, but I said there's not ever a satisfying explanation for it. Enough about her. I want to know what happened to you on MB418. Yeah, enough about the 16-year-old kid that somehow fit in your spacesuit and was last seen free-floating in space while you vanished to MB418. And while we're tossing things aside, forget about how Kamala made it home for the next scene to begin. Or how you yourself got here. Monica. With all the space in space, why f*** with the space rocks making the pretty ring, Carol? F Carol. Oh yes, let me approach in full sight of all sorts of highly advanced technologies and then go invisible, as if it suddenly matters. After my predecessor was destroyed, heretics rose up to fill the void. Why do I feel like she's describing events from the Riddick franchise? Like, in Endgame, she flew through a huge bad guy ship and destroyed it by doing so. Why is she being all sneaky sneaky here? Who's she afraid of? Why did the cat transport with Kamala this time, but did not transport with Carol on the previous jump and instead stayed behind for Kamala to freak out at? You know, this cat becomes a lot less horrific when we discover it doesn't devour anything, but rather stores them in a fur pocket to yak up later. Please run. But then they don't. The very normal family attacks Kree soldiers with home furnishings and somehow survives. It is about this time in the film I realize that this will be my new least favorite Marvel movie. No rule. No more touching sh It has taken this long to make no touching things an official rule. Annihilate ya! I don't yeah. like that name. And then she annihilates them. Kamala makes a dome around some bad guys and they teleport with her because somehow her bubble now counts as an extension of herself. And this badass teleportation of others isn't exploited in their favor for the rest of the film. Choosing to shoot while you're enclosed in a machine that is descending to Earth's atmosphere from space. Asking me to believe this family would immediately clean up rather than pack up the minivan and get the f*** 
fuck out of the house. Wait, if this is all top secret information, why is it on a clear case? Kamala would be excellent at cinema sense. Look at Fury, petting the very being that is responsible for the loss of his eye as if he's having zero drama. Captain Marvel can absorb light energy. I can see it, and you, you can turn light into physical matter. None of that makes sense. Why isn't it working? I did it to work. A question this movie struggles to answer. Come on, use your core! Oh. This works. This is like watching the finale of Spider-Man Homecoming, only it's not dark and I can actually tell what's happening. But if you give me more time, I can make it safe. No. The US government. Captain Marvel shows up literally just in time to save them from this blast, but without anyone teleporting. So somehow she figured out where the bad guys were and just went there. And why didn't she do that sooner? The Kree came here hopeful. No one can hear her talking, so this entire scene needs a megaphone or an amplifier or something. What have you done? What is this asshole upset about? Earlier in the boardroom, it was made very clear the Kree were going to strip away their air and force them to relocate. She was going sideways long before Carol became their Karen. But then you sick the annihilator on us. Thing my college girlfriend used to say to try and get me in the mood somehow makes its way in. Once again, the Skrull have betrayed the Kree! Why isn't Captain Marvel attacking Dar Ben right now? The bad guy is monologuing. This is the time to strike! We have nowhere to go. I feel like the bigger issue here is how everyone is planning to get onto a ship. The where do we go next issue can be solved with some quick searches on atmospheric similarities and proximity to a honeycomb thingy. How am I smarter than the people inside the universe we're watching? Get back to the ship and don't use your powers. Guaranteeing she will use her powers as soon as possible, sigh. They didn't actually do paint by numbers when writing the script, did they? Maybe they rolled dice? We need to save who we can! And now we watch in real time as Kamala realizes that using her superpowers earlier was essentially offering one last fun ride before death. Carol is the sort of person who dirties dish after dish and leaves them around, and then when the company shows up has nothing to offer her guests. She is the worst. I called a friend. She can find a safe place for you. Is that okay? Asking if something is okay to do after you've already done the thing. The good guys dress in black. Remember that, just in case we ever wind up in space with scroll contact. The title held by she, Valkyrie, means the Easter egg that you saw you did not see. Holla! Do you remember when the sun used to shine on Hala? I barely remember what happens between scene jumps anymore. Hey, wasn't there an open portal siphoning in the atmosphere like a window left open to the elements? What happens when that resource is depleted? Does Hala's atmosphere get sucked back through the open window? Hala is out of time. This line again? Clearly there was more time the first time this was said, so how do I know this is the real time to pay attention to how serious all this is? When you left. You said you'd be back before I knew it. Well, given how far she's traveled through space and relativity and all that, maybe not that much time has actually passed for Carol. You think of that? Did you not see Interstellar? He needed you, Carol. Look at that childhood drama rearing its ugly head. See, this is why you are best to just never be needed by anyone. Okay, all right. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. Clean up every f***ing container and mug? Captain Marvel. You need to stop calling me that. I used to change your diapers. So, Captain Underpants, then? The Marvels. Roll credits. Yeah, but Darbin only has one. She must be overloading it with the energy from her space hammer thingy. Oh. We will use this as a, a scroll torture device. Managing to use a torture device to abuse innocent old me with your cringy three-way flashback position. Paula. Paula. Really, Fury. They insisted. If insisting is all it takes to get on the space elevator and hang out with celebrity scientists and superheroes, why is TMZ not aboard too? But no filming. And Fury let them keep their phones? What sort of lack security bullshit is this? Monica will take care of her. We will, and we will make sure she gets back home in one piece. Hmm, I wonder if she knows she's doing the exact thing with Kamala's parents that she is clearly still bitter at Carol for doing to her, which is the we'll be right back thing. Power stay activated after a switch. Good to know. And so begins the training montage that attempts to help us make sense of their temporary swapping powers. Are they going to discuss strategic ways their powers can be utilized to gain an advantage on the field? No, they're going to play double dutch. One, two, three, go. Now why would you say go if you're going on three? And why wouldn't Carol activate her powers on go when she thought that go was when to go? Great, they're trained for party tricks. Amazing. So confident that they can save the world. How did he get in there? I don't know. Should we tell Fury? Given what I know of the man, unless you're Robert Redford, always tell Fury. Their language is song. Most of them won't understand you unless you sing. Right, but the tones we use when we speak could be considered a cappella-esque and musical, right? Like, right now my cadence and intonation could sound like music to someone. Removing all inflection and speaking robotically sounds like a much better plan if you want to be sure you're not technically singing. It's worth noting that Monica has two drinks, one in each hand, before she's even entered the actual party. And the sin is for not sharing with Carol. One could be more cheerful. The musical equivalent of asking a woman to smile more. The Again. I'm feeling so many feelings right now. 
feelings are often the first sign of trouble. If you or a loved one are experiencing so many feelings while watching a Marvel movie, it may be time to consult your physician. Side effects may include bloating of runtime, painful stabs of forced flashbacks, and an acute awareness of the volume green screen, which could be linked to a decrease in f***s given. I'm not alone. I appreciate the hell out of this movie doing a fully musical scene on a planet where everybody speaks in song, but I wish they'd written a better song. The lyrics are so generic it's as if they were written by an AI machine learning bot. Warning. 29 new objects detected. Tribbles! We have tribbles! Get to the grain! What about Lady of Light? No. Frequency. No. Pulsar. No. Is the problem that Carol and Kamala are terrible at names or that Monica is too picky? Discuss amongst yourselves. As Dar Ben arrives in her massive ship with her fleet, I can't help but wonder why a Cree location program hasn't been considered. I get it. You like your holla. But moving to any of the planets we've seen so far seems like a pretty great option compared to slowly dying and tearing apart reality. These tall skinny ships look cool as hell, but aerodynamically speaking, they- Hold on. I'm being told that this sin might cause a bunch of viewers to try and educate me on how aerodynamics don't matter in space. But hang on while I pick up my verbal RPGs, these tall skinny ships are not in space, dog. They are inside this planet's atmosphere and are therefore less aerodynamic than if they were on their sides. So eat a dick of bags. Wait, sh**, I f***ed that up, didn't I? Damn, that undermines my entire point even though I was correct. The universal weapon was here a second ago, but now it isn't. And I'm wondering how many teleporting things this movie wants me to keep track of in order to follow along and enjoy. Which, for the record, I am not tracking or enjoying anything. <laughs> Underestimating the previously mentioned space hammer thingy. Use your scarf. To what? Wipe her nose? Oh, was a weapon? Wait, was she trained for this? Does this come naturally to her because she likes to whip around fabric in her normal life? Is the scarf poison? Is it sharp? She is whipping people with the f***ing cotton scarf and it's working! <laughs> I'm pretty goddamn annoyed at how many folks in this film can hold their own with Captain Marvel after the sh** they showed me in Endgame. I'm adding five cents for this sh**. This is some new person out of nowhere that is Thanos level strong all of a sudden. F that sh**. I mean, Kamala is straight up shot right here, right? Her scarf must have blocked the laser somehow. F if I know. Where did you get that? My grandma. She sent it to me in the mail. See, now this is where someone needs to tell the child to stop talking to strangers. There goes HBO again. Are we doing something about these? Oh, so the brains are multiplying? They really are tribbles. Yay, Hala has water that will absolutely f up their shoreline and cause some initial damage, but then suddenly be perfectly fine later when the plot needs it to be. Yay! Quick question, how will Darben turn the portals off so that Hala isn't flooded with all the water from Aladna? Anyone? No? Oh, Captain, my Captain. <sighs> Shouldn't the hero worship have worn off by now? Somehow the ship survives this. They're able to have their feelings fight without anything or anyone following through the jumpy portal, and they have enough time to regroup to save the day. I'm really glad that you're here now. In this completely f***ed situation? Then come up with a plan B. This entire highly advanced space station exists without a plan B already in place. This entire highly advanced space station doesn't have an automated fire dampener. It requires old men to walk to the cupboard to retrieve a fire extinguisher. Thankfully, the movie has time for this. After watching the Saber crew be tentacled into a sort of squid pouch stomach and an alien cat without any idea as to what is happening to them, I have to wonder about their corporate bill for counseling services. Surely there's a plan for them to talk to someone safe after this. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do the Flurkins know which person to consume and which is essential to the plot? She wants our son. Right, that tracks. Her world has lost its sun, its water, and its air, so she's been slowly getting them each back one by one, and even though they all depend on each other to exist, she's managed to keep that shit going each time while she goes out looking for another piece of the inhabitable world puzzle. Also, all this seems really important. I'm just wondering where any other superheroes may be. Not that they need men, specifically, but help would help. I, for one, submit that the evil ship design was vertical and semi-curved simply so they could do this looks like an eye when placed against the backdrop of the sun shot. No airbags are deployed and everyone should be whiplashed, concussed, and scraped. There she is, the Annihilator herself. You already faced her up on the ship above the water during the thing. How are you gonna act like this is your first introduction? This could have been so much easier. I don't know. I like her odds. Of course you do. The door was left open for Carol to fly through and the Supremer was left entirely unprotected despite having an army of Kree at the ready. The odds are tipped in the let's wrap this movie up as fast as possible favor and we are all liking that. I don't really want to write another sin about how powerful Captain Marvel is and yet she needs help here, but can't change my DNA, people. Can't help who I am. And people are going to blame it all on the gauntlet bracelet things that came out of nowhere in this movie, and that's fine if you want to be a gullible moron. What are you waiting for? Please just give us the bangle. Why are we asking at this point? 
She's pinned to the floor. Go f***ing take it off her arm. So Monica can fly in space by being transparent. And then when she becomes solid to grab Carol, she's not negatively impacted by being unprotected in space. Someone making a list of everything wrong with how these powers work? Oh, right, me. That is a different reality bleeding into ours. God damn it. Higher, further, faster. Man, Kanye is going to sue you if you don't get those lyrics corrected. Monica, it's closing. You'll be trapped. It's okay. You rat the con watching mother Kamala, you saved the world. And immediately lost the second bracelet, apparently, so don't get too excited. So sometimes when a superhero flies through an object, it explodes, but sometimes it ignites. Okay? Okay. As you think back to this movie's hand-to-hand -hand battles involving Captain Marvel, please also remember that she just restarted a dead son with the power of her f***ing powers. Every fight this movie that she had was bullsh**. Yes, breathe and bask in the obliteration of two civilizations. Ah, <sighs> so nice. The planets are expected to make a full recovery. F***ing how? Aladdin had portal punches all over it. How will that recover? And how can you say that the scroll civilization can recover without air? Bah! I see she gets a second chance to be a mentor with Kamala here. Let's hope she doesn't f*** it up as bad as she did with Monica. Kate Bishop. Breaking and entering. We were hoping you could tell us. <sighs> so she's in another universe. Yang. And this one has a beast that sounds exactly like the beast we had in X-Men The Last Stand, but looks noticeably different. And am I supposed to cheer here? Because mostly I want to scream. Oh, that was the grossest thing I've ever heard in my life. Zadrizes buzdaris kosdaor. Breathe. I'm breathing. Air. Air! Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. I said come back tomorrow. You think I don't know the law? Wasn't it me who wrote it? And I say that this man has broken the law. You grew up on Park Avenue, aren't you an heiress? More money, more problems. It's stimulating the septal area. That's the pleasure center of the brain. Whatever this thing does, it must feel pretty good. This is my variation of double dutch on the signal. We switch places. It certainly does suck. <laughs> 